it has to be made clear that the big tech does pay to be connected to the internet, just like you and me. Uh, they are actually paying much more since their connection speed is much higher, but indeed they are paying less per me megabyte because of the economies of scale. But the principle is the same. If I set up my own server, and I was doing that in the 90s, to offer an internet service, I would be paying someone to have it connected to the internet. And so does the big tech. I mean, they already are doing that. Now, as users of the internet, you and I pay maybe 20, maybe 50 euros to connect our homes to the internet. Zero of that money goes to the providers of the services, to the authors of the text that we read on the internet, or to the videos, to the authors of the videos that we watch. It's just to be connected. And now the largest chunk of that cost, by some estimates, more than half, is related to the cost of connecting the last mile, the cabling and the devices that bring that bridge the last part of, of land and bring the internet to our homes. These costs vary, of course, in cities, it could be cheaper in villages where the cabling is longer, is more expensive. But why would big tech fund the cable that goes into my home or the 5G tower through which I get mobile internet? They already pay for the cable that connects them to the internet and for the traffic that they occur in transit. I mean, should they be paying more just because they are offering a useful service and they are rich.